Hello signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been obsessively spying on you lately and why. And for those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. And today is the 26th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 6 27 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for water signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water sign. All right now, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who has been obsessively spying on water signs, and why? The sun at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Very strong fire energy. They're Actually, there are multiple people um, obsessively spying on you right now. Uh, water signs or lately. Um, strong fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Look, we've also got the United Cups. Um, which could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be an Aries here again with the Emperor. It can be any sign. Unless all of these card cards belong to one person, we, we all could embody multiple energy, multiple elements, right? What I'm seeing here is that for once and one versus someone, you are not living in the same house right now. Not together, not in the same house. Um, or maybe both of you have lived in the same house before or were in a relationship before that I think no longer exists, okay? Um, King of Wands, I'm up first, Seven of Cups. This person is just really curious, wanting to find out. They don't know, they're confused. Um, they're looking, they're searching, uh, choosing as well. It could indicate that, wondering what are you doing, right? A lot of question marks here. And this is someone, King of Wands and Wolfers, whom could have been in and out of your life. Um, or that they were just not stable in some way, shape, or form, okay? Could be temperament. May have, um, like, uncontrolled. Could have um, uncontrollable anger. Could be that. If not, could have been a player. Uh, or just was not consistent, okay, or someone unstable again for once. Number four is supposed to be very stable, but when it's in one first, it feels like some instability in regards to this connection between you and this person or this person himself or herself, okay. Uh, doesn't matter, it's not gender specific. Not a sword's in one first, not a cup's in one first. I feel that, hmm, this is somebody maybe is thinking about something that he or she has done in the past that could have caused this rejection here is a cup of reverse or caused this connection to have um come to a, a halt it feels like it started off l lovely it started off um i would say seemed genuine seemed lovely but it just didn't take off but I feel like this person has become a little bit more mature ever since then. And I feel like they could be obsessively spying on you right now. Because they actually see you as a missed opportunity with the four cups here in one first. Because the emperor here feels like they could be more like successful now. Or if not much more mature. And now they are reflecting. It feels that way. And the nine of cups could be you. It's your element, right? Again, who knows? You could go vice versa. But... I feel like now they see, now they see that, now they understand more so, kind of understand or trying to understand him because these two cups belong to your element. Again, when it's in reverse, it feels like maybe you at one point in time did offer them a cup or you did love them or you did care about them and 
They were too confused, Seven of Cups, or just didn't know any better to understand that or to appreciate your love and your care for this person. So with the Nine of Wands here, this person will be obsessively spying on you because they could be thinking about taking certain actions towards you. But I feel like they don't want to be hasty with the Knight of Swords and up first. They don't want to kind of like uh, rush into it. So I'm sensing them trying to put like little pieces of puzzles together before they reach out to you. Um, also, they could be fearful of rejection due to ego uh, if they would reach out to you. And I feel like this person yeah, wants to see everything with the sun, seven of swords. Yeah, this is somebody very unhealthy for you here in the past. Most likely it's a past person. And we've got the six of cups in my verse. This person has given you a lot of bad memories. And the eight of cups in my verse. Obviously, they still haven't moved on yet. And the seven of swords kind of makes me feel like they're planning something uh, or this is someone very sneaky self-centered childish as well the sun can indicate that sometimes paired with these two cards here and mature I but i feel like they're becoming more mature though there's something that they're starting to realize because the sun can indicate clarity as as well um like seeing things very clearly now understanding why you did what you did and i feel like with the devil here it's been bugging them a lot and it's a very obsessive energy the devil so yeah they are very obsessive obsessive over you and could be obsessively spying on you uh and then again eight of cups in my and two swords in my verse yeah they want to see everything i feel like they want to decide something right now in regards to you but a lot of cards here are in my verse and a lot of confusion the lovers here is in one verse. This person may have confused you at one point in time. You kind of like, I don't know what this person wants. One day he or she could be acting one way and then the next day a different way. And there's a very confusing energy about this person. Or maybe they're confused as in they don't know what you're doing. And they just want to find out what you're doing with the sun here see everything and the seven of swords is a spying energy too for me because you know you spy when you spy on someone you're behaving you're acting sneakily right so i sense them sneakily spying on you and the love is in my verse yeah you no longer are with this person it feels like there's a separation between two of you and that you it could have been your decision or their decision, but I feel like you no longer are emotionally invested in this person. I sense you're just not really, not really wanting anymore to put yourself out there when it comes to this person. I think you've done enough. Yeah, you've done enough. You showed them your love. You told them how much you cared about them. But yet, I feel like they, they've taken you for granted. And this person definitely has some issues. The devil here, it makes me feel like they could either have an addiction. Could be any sorts of addiction. Could be sex addiction. Um, alcohol. Or drugs. Or just a very difficult person to be with. Could be abusive. Could be any of these things, yeah. I think there's someone you've seen very clearly that there is no point of investing any more emotionally into this person and I feel like they could be obsessively spying on you right now because you've rejected them again that you no longer are invested and I feel like they're trying to figure something out, they're planning something. A little bit of a strategic energy here as well with the seven of swords because to be a thief, it's a thievery card so in order to be a thief, you need to plan ahead, right? To steal something. So, um, Or maybe this person has stolen something from you before in the past. Past person, 100% sure, what a sign. This is someone you have really bad memories of in the past, okay? But they're still, they're still hanging on to you, memories of you. Yeah, a very difficult person to be with, for sure, all right? What are signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? This is your reading. If you'd like to um, watch more of 
these readings that I've already posted, which I post them almost every single day and even twice a day, and with you know different topics and different questions. They're all really short readings, like 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, check them out if you want to. They're still fresh because they're new and I upload them right away. You can click on daily readings, I believe they are on on the screen right now. If you can't find it, you can click on videos and scroll the way down and look for your sign. You could find some other important messages for you over there, certain topics that you may be more interested in. Um, yeah, and also I will leave you with another playlist from another channel, my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check that one out too if you want to. Um, yeah, and I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I've added a few extra options for your convenience. Alright, what are signs? And don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.